but my trunk stay ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. So, so we're at the Maharaja show. We're gonna get, see ready to see Jinder beat this man? Nope. We're at SmackDown. I didn't go to Raw yesterday, but I heard Raw was all kinds. Look at all the shirts. Look at the merch stand. Row one, right? We decided on row one instead yeah, of floor seats. So. Maharaja, the modern day Maharaja. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Shut up. Shut up. Yo, row one, life ain't bad. Eh? Yeah. Whether it be on the risers or on the floor, oh, we're going to have a good time today. Nothing like ROH. ROH, yeah. We're going to bang on the. Jinder's over his hell today. You ready for the Maharaja? The I modern day. Right there. Uh, I can't turn it around. It's going to be all right. That's the ring. We be making. I don't know. All kinds. I'm here for a uh, partial, I guess you can call it, uh, WWE Shop Unboxing. And the uh, story behind this is a couple days ago, I made a video, started putting it together. Halfway through, I'm like, bro, this video sucks. It's boring. It was like, it was just me, like, oh, yeah, guys, here's a t-shirt, whatever. Just terrible. And I think I had like a sneeze attack halfway through, so it was like, it was, it was terrible. And, I, and maybe I'll upload it just for like, the heck of it, but it was definitely one of, on the shittier side of things. And I'm not going to come on here and upload a video and um, have it be garbage because you already got enough people doing that. It's not going to be me. So uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to show you guys what I unboxed. And um, I'll talk about SmackDown as well. I'll do that first. So Raw and SmackDown were in Toronto both nights. I only went to SmackDown because, uh, you know, I honestly don't even follow Raw what's going on. And to be honest, SmackDown just seems like a whole lot of a better show where superstar wise and just time wise, you can't beat two hours. And, uh, of course, the modern-day Maharaja is on that show. So, you know, you got to go and support Jinder. So I went to SmackDown. Uh, myself and Justin Sobrian, we had Section 118, Row 1. And we had the choice of getting either Row, like, 4 on the floor or Row 1 in the 100 level. And I asked him, and uh, I guess he preferred sitting on the riser. So I'm like, you know, at this point, I didn't really care where we sat because uh, coming off the heels of a battleground and sitting fourth floor, fourth and third row on the floor, Really, anywhere would have been fine. So, we decided on 100 levels and uh, row one. So, it was a good show. Honestly, being in that building and just hearing how over Jinder Mahal was. And I'm sure if you guys watched it, you saw just how crazy those people went for, for, the, for the Maharaja. You know, he damn well deserves it. So... Um, it was cool to see. And because... And the reason being, I guess you can say he's all over. A, he's Canadian. And two... There is a community of, uh, of Indian people, like myself, who live about 15 to 25 minutes away from Toronto. And I kid you not, half that city came into the Air Canada Center to see Jinder Mahal wrestle. And I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I was like, dude, the city's called Brampton. Everyone in Brampton is going to show up in Toronto and they're going to go crazy for Jinder. And Justin's like, nope, Shinsuke, 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 no way. No way, Jose. It was all... And, and I was shocked seeing that Randy Orton getting booed and then the Maharaja chants and Let's Go Ginger chants. I was, I was one happy camper. And, and to see how um, things were at Battleground where no one gave a shit compared to Toronto where everyone was just so invested in, in Ginger Mahal. It was uh, definitely a, uh, a, self, a fulfilling moment as a fan and I'm sure for Ginger himself. So that was SmackDown. I, it was a good show. I enjoyed really, uh, I enjoyed it a lot really. I got a few things. From, uh, from the merch stand. First being uh, this Kevin Owens Canadian exclusive KO shirt. So you can see, if you guys know your Canada flag, got the KO, got the Canadian flag there, and on the back, fight Owens fight. 
I know when they went to Vancouver, they had the uh, the Canucks color, which is like a, a teal kind of bluish green thing. But no, this one, this one's great. I really, uh, really enjoyed it. And I put it on the list. Now I have like a category of like WrestleMania shirts. So you have seven shirts that, you know, you would only save for WrestleMania because it's like such a big event. You want to wear, you want to bring up the big guns for WrestleMania. This is definitely on the big gun list. And uh, second, I know what you're saying. Hey, you're wearing the same shirt right now. I got another, <laughs> I got another Ginger Mahal shirt. Reason being, um... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the way I do my laundry. Low key, my mom does my laundry. But anyway, uh, the way the laundry is done around here, these WWE shop shirts, they shrink and they get like worn out really fast. And I like to keep my stuff fairly, fairly clean. And uh, bought another one just because I knew I would be wearing this shirt more than once. And uh, normally with WWE shirts, it's known one to two times and that's it. Uh, I think really the only shirts that I've worn more than once is uh, the Bullet Club shirt. There's um, a Sting shirt that I bought or whatever. But most of the time, it's usually one or two shows I'll wear them. WrestleMania, one or two times, and that's it. But uh, this one, I think I'm on my maybe fifth time with this. And then uh, now it's time to get this one going. So that's why I bought that. And, of course, so I'm at the Merch stand and I see signed photos. And I'm like, oh my god. I have another shop unboxing coming. So I, me holding this picture up, I guess you guys can figure out what the next one's going to be. But only twenty dollars. It's not that cheap, like you know, paper quality. This is some high glass stuff, and his signature's there, and it's huge, and it's like, man, this is you get this framed and whatever. It's uh, you can't be twenty bucks, especially. They had this one and an AJ Styles one, but the AJ one was your typical WWE like cardboard, whatever, just whatever. This was well worth my twenty bucks. And uh, from November, I went to Survivor Series, and I I had um, how do I put this? After NXT, when, when Shinsuke lost the belt to Joe, there was supposed to be, because no one expected Joe to win, there was going to be a Shinsuke after party. And uh, we were going to go to like a local club and we were just going to like drink, whatever. And we still did, but it was in uh, it was in a different mood. It was like, oh man, Shinsuke should have won instead of, oh hell yes, Shinsuke is still champion. But I gave someone this t-shirt to hold on to because I was like, bro, I'm going to lose it, whatever, whatever. He held on to it and then he finally gave it back to me after so many months because uh, we met up. So this is the Survivor Series t-shirt that says I was there on the back. So uh, yeah, finally adding this to the collection of uh, many I was there shirts. So now, this is a WWE Shop unboxing. I'll make this quick because uh, obviously I don't have a knife and I don't have a box. So, and I got no plastic to open, so I'll guess start with this. This is the, the Homage homage collection. The Undertaker retro t-shirt. I have an Ultimate Warrior one like this also. But this is one of those things, you know, you can wear this every day of the summer if you really wanted to. But uh, another one on that WrestleMania list. And it's that soft material too. It's not like uh, that thick cotton. Like you can see me through that shirt. It's meant to the uh, three quarter sleeves now. And uh, they had a sale on. So I got the Goldberg Legendary Devastation. Hashtag everyone, is that what it says? Everyone is next. And then Seth Rollins, three quarter sleeve. Just uh, really plain, but still. Sleeve buster. You know, these sleeves are really thin, so when you when you put them on, make you look all kinds. All kinds. This shop order actually came on Tuesday, as I'm getting ready to go to SmackDown. So, I'm getting changed, whatever. Doorbell rings, I open the door, I'm like, oh, thank God. Took the package out of the thing, and I really opened it and pulled the shirt out first, so I ended up wearing this to SmackDown. So, if you guys saw my uh, Instagram post, you would know. It's the Ripple Injunction collection of uh, Jinder Mahal, the Maharaja. Awesome shirt. And I might buy a, a second one of this just because of like the fit of these. Uh, I love it. They're, they're long, they're tight. So not like the WWE ones where they're just so thick and I don't know. Just Ripple and Junction is always the way to go if you want a good quality uh, wrestling t-shirt. So that's that. And I think that was it. Nothing really else to talk about. But there will be a WWE shop unboxing coming within the next week because I have something on the way. Like I said, if you guys watch this, you'll, you'll know what it is easily. That's all. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.